here with Ursula Rucker, a poet, spoken word artist. She's worked with many different people, such as The Roots, and many more, an activist, and just altogether a powerhouse of a woman. Thank you for being here, um, for blessing this little virtual space with <laughs> your presence. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, um, we, we were like a little nervous, to be honest. <laughs> You're a Philly hero. We were over here like geeking out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Say thank you for the, for the compliment. Oh, oh sure. No, yeah, um, 215 hero. Yes. Yeah. Did, you, did you see the love from Philly Fest this past weekend? Yeah, I checked in a little bit. I'm pregnant, so I'm sleeping a lot. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, do it now. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, so what, what has been happening with Philly Fest? Tell us about it. Oh, it was amazing. It was a um, Amp 30 circuit and I don't know, some other organizations that came in, but that nonprofit did this festival, three day virtual festival, um, called Love from Philly with like cream of the crop, Philly musicians, um, and artists from all different genres from like, I think three to nine Friday mm -hmm. through Sunday. And, um, I mean like folk rock, you know, indie, uh, me, yeah, did you feel <laughs> <that? laughs> hip hop, whatever. Like it was amazing, and all to raise money for their grant that they give um, to musicians right now in this, wow. in this time. And there was so much love, so much Philly energy in there, and all the comment. It was just like one big Philly love fest for real. Like it was amazing. I was impressed. That's awesome. it so professionally too. Yeah. That's one of the questions that we wanted to ask you, which was this is really being quarantine has changed the landscape of being an artist so much. Um, how do you think the virtual landscape has impacted artists such as yourself in a positive way so far? Hmm. If it has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, you know, it's good to look it's good to look at both the negative and positive. I mean, that's fair, you know. Um it's just that the negative is such a behemoth right now. You know, it's just like all up in your face like ah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you know the you know the positive is there, but um yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's the um seeing of everybody coming together, you know, um and 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 working really hard to come together to keep moving forward, you know, and communicate with people and engage and help people. Um and just seeing artists be themselves, you know, uh, seeing artists like do what artists do, which is like, oh, we got to do this art regardless, regardless of whether there is a global pandemic or, you know, um, everything is falling apart in our lives or what, like everything is sunshine and bluebirds. We're just going to, we're going to make this art because that's what we do to stay alive anyway and i don't mean like monetarily like most artists do it to stay alive to stay mm -hmm. sane type alive you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's 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 been nice mm. do you miss performing at all have you uh, or were you performing a lot previously to this do i miss it <sighs> no oh. Oh, mm. oh my God! You're gonna make me cry. Oh, it's real. Yeah, I miss it. 
Yeah, I miss the world right now. <laughs> um, you know, I'm thankful for us being able to still, you know, stay connected. I never a big fan of machinery and technology, you know. Um, but right now, <laughs> I guess I have to bow down because without it, we wouldn't be able to connect at all. Still keep talking to each other. Um, yeah. But yes, yeah, not, there's nothing like being in a room full of people and pouring your heart out and then having it hit some marks and then have those people pour their hearts back out to you live and in person. Yeah, it's nothing like that. Mm. So yeah, I miss yeah. that. Mm. And I miss it because it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss rocking stages. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been performing for a minute, right? Like how many years have you been a live performer? Well, I mean or or since a kid. Have you been doing this since you were little? No, that's like a really interesting question because I'm like, huh, do I have to take it fully back to like Catholic school? <laughs> yeah, you know? bring it back. We got time. <laughs> um, no, uh, like, I would say like when I started performing the poetry, like um, really doing that thing, let's see, 90... 93? Mm. That's a minute. Wow. I read about like the Zanzibar Club that where everyone kind of started. Was it an open mic type club? Um, no, Zanzibar Blue was like a legendary jazz club. Um, okay. On 11th Street. It was really beautiful. Sorry for that barking ass yeah. dog. Yeah. So I think you, you, in a way, you kind of answered one of our questions, which is how you've been doing during this. Um, so how have you been creating? Have you been writing a lot? What has that been looking like for you? Um, I mean, if I have to be quite honest, this whole thing has been terrible for me emotionally because mm -hmm. I am a super feeler is what I like to call it. And um, it's, you can't escape the, yeah, the illness, you know, no pun intended, but the illness of the whole thing, the whole, uh, the multi-level dynamics of this thing, um, pretty overwhelming. And just thinking about how many people might be hurt or suffering is just also overwhelming for me. So it's been very uncomfortable. But with that said, oddly enough, it really has been, um, stagnated or limited my creativity. And, and, and that's what confirms for the creative energy is... Um, yeah, activated in, you know, moments of extremity like this. It's our, it's our, um, yeah, superpower, you know, it's the artist's superpower, you know, that creative energy. It's like, what, how, how are you doing it? Where does it come from? Where did the idea, how do you keep doing it? I don't know, but you should be very grateful that we do keep doing it because if we didn't, mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's obvious that everybody needs the artist for me. It's been um, very profound and telling for me to really observe how the artists are, how all, how so many people who are often, you know, not the most appreciated are being the most appreciated right now, right? Mm hmm Very interesting. Mm hmm we, me and Nicole were talking about this earlier, but how it almost feels like there's a lot of pressure on us to create uh, in yeah. a way. Like you hear a lot of people say like, 
oh, like imagine what you're going to write during this or the songs that are going to come out of you right now. And I'm with you. It's It feels like an added pressure because, yeah, it's just like I kind of feel demotivated <laughs> in a way, just soaking it all in. Um, and uh, there was an article in the Times about that, that like, that's a myth that all that art is go- new art can come out of this time because the truth is a lot of people are also focusing on how they're going to survive, you know, how they're going to pay for food that, you know, you can't, it's kind of hard to create in that, in that circumstance. Yeah. I was one of the people in the beginning that was telling everybody, yo, if you don't get away from me with this Uber productivity shit, it's not going to go well for none of y'all. Cause <laughs> I'm about to lay everybody out. And I actually did lay a couple people out. <laughs> I apologize later, but I was like, yo, you, you, you trying to put your foot, your productive foot on my neck right now when we're like, are we going to like wake up tomorrow? What the entire hell is going on right now? <laughs> um, somebody said to me last And they were like, hey, should we ask questions about how we're all doing right now, how we're all managing to create like this? And one person said, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of getting tired of, you know, I'm like, what? What do you mean? It's only been two months of the most cataclysmic thing that any of us have ever been through. Y'all always want to rush stuff. Everything is always like, come on, let's hurry up and mourn. Let's hurry up and grieve. Let's hurry up and get past all these uncomfortable feelings and produce and make money and, and, and publicize and market and do, 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 you know what I'm saying? And it's like no space to feel well or get well in there in a moment where (laughs) no other moment have we had, have we had to be about our full and entire wellness huh, than right now. Come on, people, get it together. Stop tripping. You know, I mean, if you're not going to learn a lesson in a moment like this, a brand new moment, in a brand new moment, you're not going to learn a brand new lesson? Damn. Oh, you might be outside in the grass and the sunshine with no mask and whatnot, sneezing and coughing and whatnot, thinking it's not real. You know, I mean, I'm talking to like artist friends who also happen to be medical doctors, nurses, you know, giving me the 411. And these are the things that I listen to, Mm. you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, let's just, we've had all this time. However old you are, whatever, I'm older than a lot of other people. So I've had more time Uh, out here in the world. You know, blessings, gifts, experiences. If you got to sit down for some months for things to shift and change, and if it's painful, there's been a lot of pain caused over all these centuries in in various ways, you know, um, that any of us would think that, you know, just talking about physics and the connectivity of physics, that shit doesn't come back. You know what I mean? Like everything is connected. We're not like, we don't have to talk about astrology or bohemian type stuff, which I love. (laughs) (laughs) What do (laughs) we But you know, like just Albert Einstein would be like, "Um, this moment is logical, Mm y'all. Yeah. Ursula and I were just talking, we had the chance to talk a little bit last week about that, of how like we just, can't learn the lesson of slowing down yeah. even in a time like this. Um, and, and, and we were also talking about how, you know, like if this doesn't change people's perspectives of what they really want to do in life and what they want to, how they want to live a more fulfilling life. Like we were saying how there's so many people I know who are like, you know what, I don't think I can stomach going back to my nine to five, or I don't think I can stomach going back to the way it was so busy and it was just all about making money and and the hustle and bustle of everything. Like if this isn't a big wake up call for that, I don't know what 
possibly could be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, need to come back. How, how yeah. do you do? You see this changing history somehow? <laughs> I see. I see this changing uh, people's uh, physical, chemical structures. That's how mm-hmm. heavy it is. Like, I mean, but you know, and I had this moment of reality early on this thing, and it was a rough one. And that is Earth. You've been welcoming this kind of moment and talking about this shit your whole entire artist life. You know, that moment of revolution, revelation, evolution, possibility of of paradigm shift and real market change in humanity, which was never going to come about easy. (laughs) Never, ever. You know, I just didn't know how it was going to play out. So this, you know, this, this, yes. Oh, you got me good. This is a good one. Wow, what a big surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, none of us can deny that we have all been really punked and surprised on this. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the universe, the nature, keeping it real exciting right now. <laughs> yeah. You in know, a, in um, a way, are you, do you feel happy for the planet like it's having a moment to kind of breathe away from the humans <laughs> i do yeah I do i do i'm like you know um the birds are my savior right now they're like when i hear them in in the beginning from the whole beginning of the fear you know when the fear was really starting to settle in and people were tr- starting to go inside, you know, stay inside and things were getting quiet and you could hear the birds, mm. but the mm. birds were telling me, as long as we're still singing, still a chance. So keep mm. your head up, pay attention, listen to the birds. <laughs> Look out your window and admire nature from afar and say thank you. Mm. Say thank you to nature for all it has given us, all it gives us every day, all it's done for us while we shit on it all this time. Mm -hmm. And we want to run back out there. Oh, we so anxious. I want to come back out with you, nature. I can't stand to be away from you, nature. I just want to, I just can't stop shitting on you. (laughs) it's so true it's so true yeah i know i know <laughs> i know <laughs> what else can you say yeah, really? that's it's my like, job right <laughs> <laughs> yes. i mean it's obvious all the i mean like i literally have watched from my window at least once a day i look to see what's happen I go out in the backyard and just watch all of the creatures. Um, yeah, they seem so much happier without yeah. us out there with them. They're like, yes. <laughs> Some peace <sighs> and quiet. Oh, it's like, you know that movie that I love, me and my sons love that movie, Over the Hedge. Oh, I haven't seen that. Have you either? Seen that? We all need to watch that today. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Over the hedge. It's a good one. It was ahead of its time. <laughs> oh. Oh, can't wait. Yeah, I got it. Really, it, it, it is a crazy thought just how unfortunately history has shown that the planet and the living things on it are just so much better without us here. <laughs> Sad. I mean, to me, I know. It, mm. look, I was about to say if I were human, I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. valid. I don't, I don't like to associate, <laughs> I don't like to associate myself with that 
rough and tumble club. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like you gotta like pay it. Come on. What are you we're doing? Not, you don't see really this? Really it's like, come on, pay attention. What? Mm -hmm. It's simple. I mean, it's not even difficult. It's not even complicated. It's uncomfortable, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it's not complicated. It's confusing because we don't know uh, what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know how this thing is unfolding. It's so unclear. But complicated is not what I would, would it's pretty like clear, like, okay, if you go outside, it's a very good chance you might um, get sick. Oh, and you know what? You could also die. Morgues are overflowing. Hey, look. I've always been a car-carrying member of many conspiracy theory clubs. <laughs> you carry that I'll, ad I'll admit that. Hey, come on. That's, you know, part of my, okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I believe in other things. You know, I don't, I don't, I can't settle on just the regular shit, you know? So, um, if I'm, you know, I'm listening, paying attention, studying, talking to my expert friends, putting all the pieces together. Do you know that the reservations are being decimated right now mm -hmm. throughout the country? Do you know that Native American people on reses throughout this country because they are so family oriented and they live with multiple family members to a home mm -hmm. in oftentimes very difficult economic situations? So they're pooling resources and living together and young people are you know anti uh, asymptomatic and caring and, de and and wiping off the elderly and so once again the native american people are suffering because of a hello you don't care oh that's right you don't care okay yeah. all right okay do you no, feel, this is some this is some real shit. Do mm -hmm. you feel like uh, leadership would be helpful in this situation, or it doesn't really matter? You know. What did the wind chime say? <laughs> <laughs> I I personally think the wind 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 chime said, "Oh uh, yeah, we've been there, done that." The whole leadership thing. It didn't go so. It's not going well right now. <laughs> the wind chimes were like, no, don't do that. <laughs> it won't shut up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that word to it. <laughs> the wind the wind chimes like, no. <laughs> no wind right now at no, all. I mean. That's crazy. That's weird. <laughs> you gotta believe in this. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta believe in that kind of stuff. You have to. Mm -hmm. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. Look, here's another. Here's another thing. This moment is teaching us. Think about all this time we've spent following the rules, the regulations, the laws. Right. Um, being afraid to break them or step out of line. And where has it gotten us? Here, where we've all had to figure out shit on our own. Uh, cities, states, um, citizens, right? We've all had to put all these pieces together, many of us, and do all of this alone, you know? Um, and I think that's going to be very telling moving forward, too. Like you said, people who work nine to five, yeah, it's going to be different. I read somewhere where they're, it's very likely there may be a workers' revolution. I was like, hell yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What took y'all so long? Oh, it took a global pandemic. Okay. Let's get motivated. <laughs> let's get motivated on some real shit now, though. Let's, let's not waste this painful ass 
moment. Let's not just come through it, get into the new sunshiny day where we're all hugging and hanging out, you know, and um, moving fast to the next thing like we have always been doing up until now. I don't want, I hope it doesn't, you know, I hope this shit sticks and stays and teaches some real solid lessons we could take forward. And um, yeah, my dream is evolution, you know? My dream is that we evolve because I just believe we can. We're br- humans are brilliant. They're, re- they're also fucked up, mm-hmm. but they're really brilliant. And um, yeah, we could really do some incredible things. See the bird said, yup. Yeah. They said, yup, yeah. Earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, it's up to us, and it's in our hands, and that's we determine the fate of history every time. Every time, uh, hope, thank you. Here's our time. Yes, you no, know, they're gonna look back and read in the history books. I don't want them. To be, oh my god, them! <sighs> they were a bunch of wimps and losers. They epically failed. Mm-hmm. They didn't learn anything from that. They let it just. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, not your girl. Uh-huh, not me. I'm going to be reading about y'all being epic failures and losers, not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the human. No, not the two of you. Not the two of you. Yeah. I mean, all the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> if Wind Chime said something. The, the, people, the people sunning and having picnics and bowling. And, and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's unreal. Whoa, those chimes. Oh are my really- god. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be sipping tea. I don't know. <laughs> Yo. I love this whole thing. We're getting like so many head nods from nature right now. I know. I'm, I'm glad, glad you said out here. I was worried it wasn't gonna work, but it worked out. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. So what, but what are y'all doing? Oh, all this is so sweet of me to ask. You start, Alex. <laughs> like I said, I'm pregnant, so not much, you know? <laughs> That's what you- I'm eating. Um, and I'm lucky to be able to have food to eat. So, um, how many months? I'm four months. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, and this is my first, so every day I feel like it's a new feeling. And um, and then randomly, um, so w- this is my grandfather's house. He passed a few months back, and so he um, let we bought it from him before he passed. And it was a beautiful thing, and so we've been trying to rehab it. And we found these little tiny bunny rabbits, with, and one was one had been passed away. And the mother wasn't coming back to take care of them. So we've been nursing rabbits in the city. <laughs> and today we came out here to assimilate them to some grass. And, you know. Rabbit, rabbit rescue. You want a rabbit yeah, rescue? Yeah, they're so tiny. Yeah. So, Aww. Busy being Where? a mom. Where are you? Like out Germantown, Pike, Langhorn? I'm in um, Coatesville, actually. Coatesville. Okay. It looks beautiful. I love that porch. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How about you, Nick? What are you up to? <laughs> I, I, I am such an introvert, and I love just being home by myself and creating art that I've been way more productive and like artistically inspired than when I'm out in the world. So Mm -hmm. I've had the opposite experience. (laughs) If I could, I would live in the middle of nowhere by myself and just do art all day. So I've been liking this and I've just been trying to take my time and enjoy it and not have to be in the craziness of life, you know? Um, that's no, kind of there's a lot. Out. No, I agree though. No, I'm 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 very much a hermit a lot anyway. You know, if, when I'm not out being a social butterfly and doing that right. thing, I'm a complete hermit. Like I could stay in the house for a week anyway. So yes, same. Right. No yeah. problem. Yes. You know, um, it's so the I'm ambivert like, thing. It's the extrovert and introvert in one. It's it's hard. It's a hard life. <laughs> no, well, it's like 
<laughs> no, it's just being with the people has become such an integral part of my whole entire core being. Um, see? See? Oh. That's what it is, you know, is that. It's the first grief that I felt when this whole thing started was not being able to help people in person, not being able to go out and do this art. And I knew there was going to be so many people that needed help. And that I was going to be one of them, you know, because I'm an artist and all the gigs canceled. So we would all need help. But all I could think about was like, shit, you know, if I don't have the money, which I quite often don't because, you know, I'm an artist. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can always give the help. I can always do the art and help with the art. Like that's what I can do. And um, hmm. so yeah, I'm still, I've been observing all these weeks and I've been participating as well, you know, being a part of amazing virtual offerings that have healed my soul, um, but are very draining and tiring too. Cause you know, you're, you cry afterwards because you, you were feeling emotional all day and didn't even think you could do the virtual gig at 7 p.m. when you had to turn this machine on. You had been crying all day and fell to the floor and wondering how are we all going to make it through this. And then you have to pop up in the virtual box and sprinkle magic dust on everybody and you do it. And then you pop back out and you may cry some more or smoke a bowl and watch a show and have some wine i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um, <laughs> whatever you want <laughs> yeah we're all just trying like we all just have to honor each other's ways and 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 time time we have to honor each other's time mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. speaking of that i am so appreciative that you took the time yes with us today thank you thanks I mean, for having me this was lovely yeah and and it touches me i think what touched me today the most is the depth of you under like realizing how much um community means to you like just you i can feel it through the screen so i'm appreciative to have that human connection with a stranger right now <laughs> on a machine <laughs> <laughs> Isn't, isn't that beautiful? Oh, th yes, thank you. The other miracle is now we're all so much more adept at a, but there was birds, the birds say amen again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're so much more adept at all this, right? Yeah. Yep. That's, That's true. like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the good things that are going to come out of this. I can't see. I can't see no good things like this. It's, it, it's impossible. It's going to be painful still, though, to see the people who didn't come along. It's going to be painful, and they're going to make it painful for others and themselves. So, you know, let's just somehow, whatever it takes to strengthen your, your spirit right now, just do it. Because yeah. it's going to be necessary. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. You know? Amen. Is there anything so, else you want to share with other fellow artists or any last words before we say goodbye? Yeah, don't, like I said earlier, don't let this moment go um, unlearned, um, unfelt, mm -hmm. um, and don't let it pass without making a real compassionate uh, move and effort towards positive, profound, lasting change. Mm -hmm. How far can I go with cursing? All the way? Because I've been cursed. Is this a... Oh, oh yeah. You're, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, to like, yeah, you know, go as far as you can with, 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 making that real hard Philly type shift up in this motherfucker. Yes. Amen. Cause, Amen. Cause that's what's necessary. And that's what this moment is calling for. This is a rough, you think a rough ass moment like this would happen and not 
it, the, 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 the reciprocal response wouldn't meet, you understand what I'm saying? It wouldn't meet this, the intensity of this moment. You're not going to meet it with an intense, mm. you know, palpable response, which is why we're all suffering so long right now, because the response has been shitty and lackluster. It's all about the response. Um, my fellow humans is all about your response and your reaction. Mm. Amen. Thank yep. you. Matt. Thank you, Ursula. Yeah, Thank you. So nice you. Yeah. Let, let me know when this is, you know, whatever going out into the, uh, the, the satellite on Venus. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you, when you have another performance in person, we are going to come and we are going to hug you. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to hug you. I know. Bet. I'm, I'm a hugger. I'm such a, this has been, oh, when I see my people now, if they drop something off, I'll be like, oh, oh, man, it's painful, right? We're going to have to like, yeah, thank you. One more thing. Remember to take care of your, okay, the things that are missing right now because you're not getting that physical connection and affection and engagement right now is doing things to us. So we have to take care of us and we have to do things like this, mm -hmm. show love and, you know, compassion and friendship and all that stuff and other as many ways as we can until we can do it in person on people's porch. We're, me and Nicole are coming, coming to your porch to see the baby when the world mm -hmm. opens back up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And happy said, let's, let's go early. to Alex's grandfather's porch. Yes, <laughs> I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> you know, happy Mother's Day early. I heard you don't really like Mother's Day all that much. <laughs> I will say it in advance. But I'll, no, I take that. I take it. I've earned it. I accept <laughs> it. Thank you. Yes. A little crumb snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a beautiful thing. God bless you on your first baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be on that porch. <laughs> yeah. They'll be eating our crumbs. All right. Yeah. All right. I love you. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah.